Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here again. I thought I'd give you a little bit more insight on how to utilize that new pane that has shown up in the right side of your screen in that new Gmail interface. Now you'll notice that in the upper right corner there is a calendar icon, a Google Keep icon, and a tasks icon. And this is going to slide a pane out on that right side of the screen. Now this is going to be for your calendars for that first icon. You can navigate to a different date by clicking on the little arrow there and be able to navigate to a different date to see whatever you would like. Below that you can scroll through your different days with the arrows and then below that you'll see on your calendar itself any calendars that are turned on that are underneath your My Calendars view. So just to refresh your memory on that, if we go to the Google Calendar interface, you'll notice in that left side of my screen I have my Google Trainer Calendar turned on, a resource room that I check on, my executives, and then underneath that there is reminders or tasks. This will not show up in that calendar slide view. And then underneath that, in the other calendar section, even though I've got a resource room here turned on, I will not be able to see that. So in general, any calendars underneath that My Calendar section in the left side of the screen. So just to go back to Mail, you'll see there's my Executives Calendar in purple, My Calendar in the blue, and then my Resource Room in that orange gold color. So that is the calendar piece. Now below that is Google Keep. So if you've never been a user of Google Keep, it is an outstanding program for keeping notes on all sorts of information. You can share those notes out with coworkers and collaborators. And you can do anything in terms of text, images, check boxes, the whole nine yards. Now with Google Keep, you will find this icon underneath your apps launcher in the upper right corner as a program and you can utilize it from there and then from mail if we click on that we'll be able to add and subtract things from here so if we want to take a quick note maybe about an email that we got we can click on take note and let's just say we're gonna open up one of these emails I could grab any type of text from this like let's say I just want to keep a quick snippet of Jennifer's contact information and in that note I can do a quick paste title and done and I've just quickly added that information from an email and then I can also do the vice versa if I want to compose a new email I could grab some additional information from a note copy that and paste it into my new email and away I go so Google Keep is an outstanding program as I mentioned for you to be able to work with taking notes sharing notes color coding them the whole nine yards and you can do a lot of that from here as well as from the actual program itself. Now one last thing that we have here is in that right side panel underneath that Keep logo is the task pane. So this is your task list that you're probably used to seeing from before. However, it's been upgraded and it works just a little differently from here. Now like you had before in the upper right corner of our screen we could go to multiple lists that we've created which you can also view your tasks in your Google calendar screen as well. We can create a new list from there. We can add a task by just typing something. I can add some details. I can switch lists, maybe add a due date to this, and maybe even add a subtask. exit and now I got that task there. Now another brand new feature to the task list is actually being able to utilize an email as a task and we've all gotten those emails like hey John can you run that report that we spoke of earlier? So something like that so I'm gonna take this email that I have from Jennifer and I'm gonna drag and drop that into our task pane and you'll see a new feature that's popped up of drop to create a new task. Drop it in and now I've got that there and I can edit that detail piece like I just showed you but the nice part about this is that we now have a link to the specific email so if time's gone on I need to access this email I don't have to go searching for it I can click it right here from that task list and it will take me right into the email itself
Now also what you can do is you can go to the top right corner where those three little dots are and we can sort these in a different order of my order is the order that you've created them in. There's by a due date. I could rename my list or delete a list, delete all of my completed things and I can actually show keyboard shortcuts from here. And then down at the very bottom you'll notice that there is an option to view all of your completed tasks which speaking of when you finish something what you can do is just click on the little circle to the right of it and it will remove it from your list from there. So that's how you're going to use your tasks. So the last thing I can show you how you're going to use is going to be to the far right side of your screen you'll see a plus symbol and this is going to be for getting add-ons. Now add-ons may or may not be turned on for your domain but if they are when you click on that plus it will bring up a box with all of the different programs that you can add to your usability in your Google Mail. Now if you are used to using something like a CRM maybe like Insightly or you're used to using a program like Smartsheet you can actually have those embedded into your Gmail screen so that when you need to add something from an email you can quickly get to it and add it without having to go through the rigmarole of opening the program up and signing on and all that good stuff there. So just another addition to that window that may be of use to you. So with that everyone, until we meet again another day, another time, another update, this is Gary the Google Guy signing off. Goodbye now.